all dear friends and uh, readers in uh, Germany. Uh, this is Johan Hafstad saying uh, hello to you from uh, Oslo. In my apartment where I have been staying indoors for six weeks, I think. I've uh, lost count. No, I'm, uh, I'm usually always home. This is where I work and uh, in some ways my life now is not very different from um, how it always is. Um, I've always preferred to stay home to work. I've never had a studio, never had an office to, to write in. It was one of the decisions I made very early as a writer that I wanted to stay home. And it's sort of a protest in a way, um, because if I'm going to be in a, to, to be a writer or an artist, which means not making uh, regular money, not having a salary, not being employed anywhere, uh, I should also be able to avoid having to get up in the morning and commute to work, you know, with everyone else. So, um, as everyone is going to, to work, I just stay home and uh, when everyone has left on the trams or the, on their bikes or in their cars, then my day can begin. Um, but these are really, really strange times anyway for, for everyone, I'm sure, and uh, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, as I said, except for the fact that my children have been st staying home for all these weeks, making it virtually impossible to work, um, my days have gone by as they usually do, except for all these little things you start to notice. For instance, there, there used to be all this air traffic above our house, which is in the, in the middle of Oslo and all these planes departing and arriving at Oslo airport used to cross almost directly over our buildings so you, when you went out on the balcony you would always see this you know contrail from going in different direction from from airplane and now the sky is really really quiet and I find that a little bit sad and it's not only because I love flying even though I um, I know that one shouldn't love flying. I'm, um, I'm trying to be an environmentalist and one of my major flaws in life is that I, I absolutely love flying. But it also has to do with the fact that people are not going anywhere, which is an indication that people aren't meeting. And from what I have picked up over the years, the little I've learned is that to exchange knowledge and uh, to pre prevent conflict one needs to meet face to face and I think traveling is another important aspect of that. I got a question if I if I found any inspiration in this COVID-19 uh, crisis that we're living through now and the short answer is no. Even, even though we're in quarantine or in isolation or just having to stay home from uh, from work, this gives us a uh, sort of a great opportunity to, to focus or to concentrate in a, in a completely new way. And I think what better to do with this time and this extra concentration than to read. And uh, of course, I hope you read my book, Max Misha and the Tet Offensive, um, since now you actually have time to you know, read 1200 pages. Um, this is hard. Know, sitting in an empty room talking to the wall but anyway um, these are uh, these are tough and hard times for for all of us so in order to give you something to laugh off to laugh about uh, I'm going to read a short excerpt of Max Mischa und die Ted Offensive in German and I'm going to struggle my way through the first page of this book. Okay. <clears throat> Der Tag beginnt. 
nicht zu machen. Nicht zu machen, nicht zu ändern, nicht und wieder nichts. Das ist das Schlimmste. Kein einziger Morgen ohne diese allumfassende Enttäuschung. Noch ein Tag, der jedes unzerbärliche Mal wieder von vorn beginnen muss. Nie eine Fortsetzung an den Punkt, wo der vorige Ende endet, sondern ein Dienstag, der immer weiter Dienstag bleibt, bis der erste Schnee fällt. Alles wird von Neuem eingestoßen, pedantisch und ausnahmlos. Alle 24 Stunden auf die Minute und die Sekunde. Wie ein buckiges, aufkluges Kind, das mit seiner absurden Pünktlichkeit Eindruck schinden will. Man hätte doch wenigstens mit einer doppelt so langen Woche experimentieren können, um, um nicht einen Montag nach dem anderen vor der Latz geknallt zu bekommen. Kaum sind der Tag und die Woche da gewesen, kommen sie auch schon wieder unterschiedslos von der immer gleichen Durchschnitt What is it? durchschnittlichen Beschaffenheit. Sie werden die, die bis an die Haustür geliefert durch den, <coughs> sorry, durch den Briefschlitz geschoben, in das offene Fenster geschleudert. Dann sch sch <lacht> den Schornstein geworfen, das Maul äh, gestopft. Anyone still listening to this? Ähm, die Speiseröhre hinab wie ein Abo, dass du nicht abbestellen kannst, weil die Firma nicht versteht, wie auch nur irgendjemand auf ihr Produkt verzichten kann. Okay. Should I go on? I can't go on. I'll go on. Morgen rauben über Minneapolis St. Paul noch keine Folge am Himmel. Es verspricht ein schöner Tag zu werden. Ganz sicher ist das aber nicht, denn das Wetter ist in den Stunden bevor die Sonne aufgeht oft schöner, klarer, milder und freundlicher. Ich nehme an, es gibt eine meteorologische Erklärung dafür. Ich hatte jemanden fragen können, der das bestätigte, aber ich habe Angst. Der Befragte könnte den Kopf schütteln. Die Unterlagen mit der Analyse und der Wettervorschauke weiß legen. Genau. Bemüht, lächeln und antwortet, das Wetter am frühen Morgen. Das ist nur so gut, um uns die Kraft zu geben, noch einen Tag durch zu durch so stehen. Durch, durch so stehen. Okay. Um, if you're for some strange reason I'm still looking at this, um, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and that things will change for the better soon. So we can all see each other again. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs>